Hi there, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make Maya create backups of your saved scene files so that if you do experience a crash, then hopefully you can retrieve that backup and not lose too much work. So I was reading online some comments about some people had said they had experienced some crashes in Maya or maybe some corruption of their data and they'd lost a lot of work. And in some instances, some users were saying that they'd lost hours of work or even days of work. And that really surprised me. And I think what's happening there is people aren't saving their scenes correctly. Now, you might be thinking that, well, I've been using Maya for years. I know how to save my scene, so why do I need a video to tell me how to save my scene? Well, I'm willing to bet that there's several options in the save scene options that you don't even realize are there and therefore you're not using. And if you enable these options, then it will really make your life a whole lot easier if you encounter any Maya crashes or your scenes become corrupted. Now, what I've done here is I've split my screen in half. So I've got my version of Maya running here in Maya 2023. And then I've got the directory where I'm going to be saving my scenes open here. So hopefully you can see what's going to happen whilst I uh, go through this demonstration. Now, let's start with a very typical workflow. We've got a scene going on, we're doing some work, and we've done a save scene as. So we go to File menu, Save Scene As. And then we give it a name here, and then we're off and running. And then from this point onwards, many people will just keep doing Control S, Control S all the time. And all the time they're doing that, they're saving their scene and they're just saving this scene here. So just look at my uh, my date and my time here. So again, I'll move the camera around so there's a change and I'll just do Control S. And you'll see that my, my scene has been saved. So that's all perfectly fine. And you may even choose to maybe go to your preferences and maybe choose the autosave. I personally don't like using it because in the background it can often just affect a little bit of performance but that's really down to personal choice. But if you enable it, then you can have it turned on and Maya will save your scene automatically at any kind of number of minute intervals that you decide. And you can decide where it saves those scenes as well uh, if you want to. Well, that's fine, but it's somewhat limited in what you can do. And again, it will always keep saving this main scene. But Maya has several things in the save scene options that can really help you. And in many ways, it helps you to increment your versions and save versions of your scene automatically. Now, one of the most overlooked things in the file menu is this option here called increment and save. Now, this say I choose this now. Now, keep an eye on this folder here. I choose increment and save. Let's just move the camera around so that Maya has detected a change. So now I do increment and save, a new file has been created and my Maya scene file has also been renamed. And look at the title bar here. So we're now actually working on car model start 0001. We're not working on this scene anymore. We're working on this scene. But now I can still go back to the file menu and choose increment and save. And now it will create a new version. And I can keep on doing this. So every time I choose this option, increment and save, it will version up the my scene I'm working on, change the scene I'm working on to be that current version, so that if this 002 becomes corrupted or crashes, I can always go back to this version here. So this is something that I'm sure many people don't realize that they can actually do. And this option has been here for quite some time, but it's just so easily overlooked. So all the time that Maya creates a new increment, I can continue to do a control save on this current live instance that I'm working on. So again, if I do a control S now, it will version up this scene. And then what I could do is then do, you know, an increment and save. And I've now got a third version. You might be thinking, okay, this is fine, but I don't really want to go through the hassle of remembering to choose increment and save. And of course, you could put this on a hotkey if you want. Uh, it's entirely down to you. But you may not want to have the choice because it's so easy to forget to do the increment. Ideally, what you want to do is save your scene normally using Control S and then have a backup increment in the background. Well, Maya can do that as well. And again, this is another setting that so many people completely overlook because they don't even realize it's actually there. 
So what I've done now is I've just started again. I've removed those files that I've been saving, those incremental saves. And this time, we're going to start with the same scene again. And again, this is very typical. People have been working away, and they'll do a save scene as. And they do this all the time. They've reached maybe half an hour into their work, or maybe they've reached a milestone or a key point in their workflow. And they'll say, oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to rename this file so I don't lose any of my work. And this happens all the time. So this, to say, I call it look dev. And some people may even put a version number on the end as well. I'm not going to, so I'll just call it look dev. So there's my file and save as has changed. And this is the instance that I'm actually working on. What we're going to do now is we could do control S and save our scenes. But what I'm going to do is go to file menu and this time go to the dialog box here for your save scene option. And so many people don't actually do this. So now with our save scene options, at the very top, there's an option called incremental save. So I'm just going to turn this on and now move my camera so there's a change. I'm just going to choose save scene. So my scene has been saved. We've now got a new version of this car model look dev. But now Maya has created this incremental save folder where my scene has been saved. And if we go into that, we've now got another subfolder called car model look dev .ma, which is the same name as our Maya scene. And if we go into this subfolder, we now have an incremented version. So what Maya is doing is saving over our scene as normal in the live session of Maya. But every time we do a control S normal save scene, it's creating an incremental backup in this folder here. So what I've done is I've split my screen up now. So this is the main root folder where my scenes are. So these are my two my scenes I've been working on. And at the bottom here is my incremental save folder. So again, we'll work away and we'll make some changes and we'll just do a simple control S. And we now have a version two. And of course, we can notice that our look dev scene has also been updated at the same time. And we can keep on working like this. So every time I do a control S, Maya creates a backup for me. So this is perfect. And the great thing about this is that I've saved three versions out now and this uh, I'm about to do something else and my scene crashes or becomes corrupted, then hopefully I won't have to go too far back in time to retrieve a version of my scene file and hopefully I wouldn't have lost too much work. Now, some things to be aware of is that you have to bear in mind that you're essentially creating duplicates of your scene. So you can see here that the, um, the scene size is is always the same. So of course, the more incremental backups that you do, the more memory and storage you're going to use up. So you can go to your save scene options and choose limit incremental saves. And we can set a limit. So I'll change mine to four because we've done three already. So if I just choose save scene and we've got four versions, what will happen now? Watch what happens when I do the save scene again and we've limited it to four. So I've done a save scene and notice what happened there. I've got a version five, but it's overwritten my 001. So what Maya does here is that if you limit the number of incremental saves to a specific number, then when it reaches that limit, it will go to the oldest file that you've saved and then overwrite that file with the latest version. And it will keep cycling through that based on the limit that you've specified. Now, if you want to increase the limit even further, then you can do so, because if you do set it up to say 10, and you saved every 10 minutes, then you've got like 10 backups in an hour. So really, you've got quite a lot of redundancy there if you encounter a problem. But you can choose the option to do a compressed save, which basically zips the file up. So if you're very conscious of storage space, then that's also an option for you. And of course, you can even go to the help and it will, in the documentation, it will explain all these options for you. Now, what's interesting about this is that that save scene option can also work in conjunction with the normal increments and save. So you can even create backups of your increments. So, so to show you how that could work, let's just go up a directory to my incremental save and I'm in my car model look dev scene and let's say I do a increment and save. So we now have a 
0.0001 version. So now if I do a control S, remember I still have the incremental save option turned on. So if I do a control S now, in my incremental save directory, I've now got an incremental save of this 0001 file. And there we have it. And of course, it's appended another version on the end of it. So I can keep on doing saves here and it will keep versioning up. And again, I can choose to increment my version here as well. So I'll do another increment and save. So now we go up to a 002. And of course, I can keep doing the same here as well. So once you get into this workflow, you're not only incrementing your normal working scenes, but then you're also creating backups and increments of those scenes as well. So this can get quite confusing, but if you're somewhat paranoid or very conscious of maybe Maya crashing, then this isn't a bad way of working. And it's really very simple. All I've just turned, all I've done is turned on an option in the save scene option box. That's really it. And also started to use this increment and save option as well. So this is a really simple solution to something that we all encounter probably on a regular basis, depending on the complexity of our work. And there's nothing more frustrating than working on a scene and then it crashes on you and you've got to go back to a scene that you've saved maybe some time ago and you've lost loads of work. So if you set this up in the right way and through a very simple mechanism, even if you don't do the uh, increment and save, just turn on the incremental save here and set the limit of backups. And hopefully you'll create a backup of your scene every time you're doing a normal save and you won't have to worry about it. So as you can see, just by enabling an option in the save scene options, you can make Maya save a backup of your scene whilst you're working normally and doing a normal scene save. And if you set it, then you won't have to think about it and it's always there. And I really hope this was useful to many of you because we've all encountered those situations where our scenes have become corrupted or they've crashed and we've had to go back to an older file and that file has been some time ago and then we've had to redo that work. And there's nothing more frustrating than having to do that multiple times. So hopefully just by enabling that option and maybe just changing a little bit of behavior in how you work, you can avoid that happening so that if you do encounter a problem, then you hopefully won't have to go too far back in time to get a file and you can continue working and you haven't lost all that time and effort. So that's it. I hope you've been able to get something out of this video. I know the topic of saving scenes perhaps isn't as sexy as some other features, but this is something that we all have to do when working with Maya. So I really hope you've been able to get something out of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.